India in a strong reply, uh, a strong right to reply has slammed Pakistan Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif over his statement on Kashmir at the United Nations General Assembly. It described it as hypocrisy at its worst. India exercised its right to reply in the UN General Assembly in response to Shehbaz Sharif raising the issue of Jammu and Kashmir in his address at the general debate of the 79th session of the UN General Assembly. Addressing session at the UNGA, Indian dipl diplomat Bhavika Mang Mangala, uh, Mangala Nandan said a country run by the military with a global reputation for terrorism, narcotics, trade and transnational crime has had the audacity to attack the world's largest democracy. Let's in fact listen into what she said. Talk about political. I speak about the reference to India in the speech of the Pakistani Prime Minister. As the world knows, Pakistan has long employed cross border terrorism as a weapon against its neighbors. It has attacked our parliament, our financial capital, Mumbai marketplaces and pilgrimage routes. The list is long. For such a country to speak about violence anywhere is hypocrisy at its worst. It is even more extraordinary for a country with a history of rigged elections to talk about political choices, that too in a democracy. The real truth is that Pakistan covets our territory. I speak about... My colleague Brian Thomas has joined us on the telecast. Brian, now India and Pakistan are in a war of words. Uh, after Shehbaz Sharif racked up the Kashmir issue at UNGA, now India has given a befitting reply and slammed them over their hypocrisy and warned them that there will be an inevitable consequence that Pakistan will have to face uh, as it continues to harbor counter-terrorism and uh, attack its neighbor uh, after this. This is the latest that is coming in. Uh, tell our viewers what more do you know about that? I think my uh, colleague is facing some issues. So this is the latest that is coming in at this point of time. India and Pakistan are at a war of words over Shehbaz Sharif after Shehbaz Sharif ragged up Kashmir issue at Kashmir issue and India hit out at Islamabad's continued support for cross-border terrorism and also warn them for inevitably they will face consequences. My colleague Brian Thomas has joined us back on the telecast. Brian, we are being joined by Ambassador Suresh Goel, former diplomat. Thank you so much for joining us on the telecast. Uh, so Ambassador Suresh Goel, now India and Pakistan are at a war of words after Shehbaz Sharif, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, racked up the Kashmir issue. And he, uh, the Shehbaz Sharif has stated that Kashmir, uh, he brought up that uh, Article 370 should be abrogated and that he talked about that they, the Kashmiri people do not agree with this fake Indian identity. And now India has given a befitting reply. They have state talked about uh, that how Pakistan hypocrisy is being highlighted for someone, for a country that has it, that it struggles with political uh, uh, elections that are rigged and uh, deals with, uh, with counter-terrorism is talking about uh, something like this, that's hypocrisy at its worst. What, what do you think about that? Uh, Ria, thank you very much, first of all. Good morning. And uh, uh, good to hear your face's question. Uh, you know, what is happening uh, here, it reminds me of what we used to see even in the years 1991 to 95. I was in uh, the Indian uh, mission to the United Nations. And every year, the General Assembly, Pakistan, delegates at the level of the Prime Minister or the Minister would raise these issues in the General Assembly, etc. And then the Indian delegation would reply. If you remember, there was very effective uh, uh, separate, first secretary in the PMI two, three or four years ago, who replied very valiant to the Pakistani propaganda. 
So this is actually a farce. This Pakistan plays out three years, year in and year out, and though it can be read that the culprit in the situation in the area actually lies in Pakistan when they indulge in cross border terrorism, making the situation difficult and uh, India will have to respond to the cross border terrorism and the casualty in the process are the civilians, innocent civilians who lose their lives in the crossfire and in the attack by the uh, terrorism, terrorists encouraged by uh, Pakistan. So uh, uh, you would see that uh, I think EA will reply, Alex EA will reply to this, uh, uh, this, this uh, innuendo and Pakistan statement by Pakistan. And when Pakistan will turn to the floor again, it's actually a huge waste of time by Pakistan in the United Nations. But we have to basically uh, do it. We have to reply to what Pakistan is saying and put in front of the UN delegate what the reality is. Bria. Ambassador uh, Suresh Goyal, now India uh, is uh, Jammu and Kashmir elections are underway and uh, Shahbaz Sharif has said that abrogation of Article 370 will secure a peaceful, uh, it's a durable uh, peace that, uh, that will be, uh, you know, after Article 370 that will be possible. And he has uh, initiated, he wants that a, a dialogue should be initiated for a peaceful discourse. Why, why do you think all of this is happening <laughs> just, just before the, amid this Jammu and Kashmir assembly polls? Why should we talk to Pakistan about our internal matters? Uh, if Pakistan has a problem, then Pakistan should basically solve their own affairs and keep quiet. So when you have to talk to Pakistan about Article 370 or 37 or election processes in Jammu and Kashmir, I mean, uh, all we need to do is to, be, to realize and be careful about possible attempts from across the border uh, to disrupt the, uh, the election process in Jammu and Kashmir. And if they do it, our security forces should be alert on the alert to uh, to uh, uh, put put pay to this uh, this kind of attack. Sabotage this in the in this kind of uh, uh, attempt by Pakistan. No, Pakistan is separate. It is the same as Pakistan has no local stand by, and we should really remain alert. I think what we need to really do is enhance our own security to ensure that these kind of across the border. Thank you so much for joining us on the telecast, Ambassador Suresh Goel. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.